Hi, this is your host, Sapin Bharatiya, and welcome to another episode of TFR Newsroom. Ahana has raised 20 million in Series A funding, bringing total funds to almost, if I'm not wrong, 24.8 million. To discuss this funding, we have with us two regular guests from Ahana, Stephen Mee and Deepti Borker. Let's uh, quickly do a recap. What is Ahana all about? Ahana is the Presto company. It's an open source project that's designed to get analytics insights off of data lakes and other data sources. And Ahana makes that extremely easy to make that happen with a very small data uh, platform team. They can be up and running in 30 minutes and querying all the data that they have across the organization. And since you uh, mentioned, you know, of course, the, the data lake and data lake market or the open data lake market is really hot these days. Uh, let's talk about a bit uh, of data warehousing and a lot of analytics from that perspective, because we do hear a lot about the challenges. I talk to companies, the problem that they face when they try to move data around. So, so Deepti, if you can talk a bit about that market, why is it so hot and what's going on in there? The data warehouse market and the data warehouses have been around for a long time. Of course, Snowflake is the biggest IPO. And so cloud data warehouses are well established. But what we're seeing is there's a lot more data. Uh, there's a lot of different types of data. And this is ending up in a data lake. And that's where uh, data lake and data lake analytics comes in and engines like Presto come in. And as the, the amount of data in data lakes like S3 continues to grow, the amount of compute and that's needed on top will grow as well. And that's what makes it such a big market. Uh, it's this combination of cloud data and open source that's making uh, big, uh, it, you know, big companies. Uh, Databricks uh, is one, of course, uh, Confluent and others uh, are part of this as well. Right. Uh, now let's talk about uh, the elephant in the room, which is this investment. Uh, talk a bit about uh, who is who are the, the investors? What are the areas that you will be investing in? What are the areas that we should be seeing growth when we talk about Ahana as a company? Sure. So uh, f uh, first of all, I think you covered our seed investment from Google Ventures, and uh, we're uh, really uh, thrilled to have them in. And now we've added uh, a $20 million round led by Third Point. Third Point is a, a very large hedge and, and venture firm, and uh, we're excited to be partnering with them. Of course, uh, Google and others also uh, invested alongside their lead and a uh, very um, hot, oversubscribed round. This is just evidence to the size of the market opportunity that's occurring with data lake analytics. And uh, we're, we're really pleased about that. We, we think that uh, investment for uh, big markets is uh, uh, you know, what VC is all about. Uh, we have a lot to build, and that's where we're going to be investing this uh, funding to grow the business. Uh, uh, on that topic, there's three areas. Uh, first is we're going to continue to scale our technical teams, our product and engineering teams to continue to innovate on the, the Presto project and the open data lake analytics solution that we have, making it uh, even easier uh, to build as well as even easier to uh, operate and at very, very high uh, price performance uh, levels. Second area of the investment is around the community and working with the Presto Foundation and working with the uh, members such as Facebook, Intel, Uber, and uh, really continuing to evangelize the project so it spreads even further beyond the, the current uh, existing set of, of users, which is a phenomenally great, vibrant community already. And we encourage every developer to check it out and join, but uh, uh, we see this as, as a very critical part of that investment. And then lastly, typically go-to-market efforts, uh, driving the business side to continue to grow our customers, which uh, uh, we can talk about next if you like. If you just look at this investment and I just look at Ahana customers, what does it mean for them? How will they be impacted by it directly? Yeah, maybe I can answer the first part. And, and uh, uh, you know, the sales teams are going to will have even better, uh, a larger uh, sales force to go and uh, work with customers. And uh, as they look at their challenges across the open data lake analytics uh, arena, uh, specifically with with customers, of course, they um, uh, want to get the latest innovations that come out of of, uh, of the open source. And uh, this is really great because they'll see that initial investment uh, uh, that what I mentioned around the scaling of the uh, uh, technical teams, they're going to benefit greatly uh, with a, a better and better solutions. And plus, they can have the confidence that they're with a, a really high flying um, uh, uh, you know, young company that uh, uh, will be continuing to grow. And so that's something that they can have confidence in as well. Customers at the end of the day want to solve 
uh, problems that they're seeing right now in the analytics space to get insights faster from their data. One of the challenges that they have is how do you re- run uh, queries and get insights from data leaks? Uh, and it's the SQL on S3 problem, as I call it. And that's what we're trying to solve. Um, there's three areas of focus from a product and an uh, engineering perspective. Uh, we will continue to invest in the ease of use so that um, platform teams of uh, any size, uh, could be two people uh, to, uh, to tens of people, uh, can use the product, can use the power of Presto uh, and be up and running uh, and spend less time on deployment and operations and more time on actually getting insights from their data. The other area is performance, and that's where the innovation into the in, into the engine itself, the core engine, uh, comes in. And we have a phenomenal team that is building the next generation of Presto uh, with a lot more uh, capabilities built in. So we look at uh, ease of use, um, uh, performance, uh, price performance, uh, and then security is another area that we'll continue to invest. As there's more data, the importance of security continues to uh, to grow, and uh, we want to have a product and an uh, enterprise class experience uh, which has all of these three things built in. When you talk about ease of use, nothing beats you know kind of managed services because uh, open source is day one problem, day two problem is when. Uh, they have to actually go and do all of those those things. And sometimes this whole landscape becomes so complicated that customers get overwhelmed. Their engineers should focus on solving their problems, not the problems of the projects. So can you can you talk a bit about, uh, because early on you folks also introduced on the cloud many services. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in two things. One is that what kind of use cases you have seen, new use cases, and still as you were earlier talking about the growth, uh, if you can talk about whether the growth of company or use cases beyond the industries or and also regional you know what are the areas regional areas where you are focusing on so it's a twofold question there yeah and i can start off with uh, with what some you know the first part of it so from a use case perspective um, we are seeing uh, interactive workloads on uh, on data leaks so this is reporting and dashboarding business uh, units marketing teams product teams they want more insights make better decisions out of the data that they have and that's where the interactive uh, workloads come in uh, another set of workloads is around data science and um, uh, sql notebooks uh, uh, and that's the the other area where ad hoc analytics comes in, uh, asking questions of, of the data that uh, of you don't know how uh, what data to uh, to look up, uh, and so that's the that's the second area. And then the third area is uh, transformation, uh, data transformation. We're seeing um, that as another area that's coming up. So typically, customers start with one use case and they expand into other use cases because they see the ease of use of a managed service um, and <clears throat> they want to use the, the managed service for a range of other use cases as well. Now, Ahana is a horizontal product, right? Presto is a technology that can be leveraged for any vertical, whether it's health sciences, life sciences, financial services, security. Uh, Securonics is one of our customers in the SIM space. They're doing threat hunting uh, with uh, using Ahana underneath it. And those are the kind of examples where it's really across industries uh, and across um, verticals. So, um, uh, so um, uh, you know, to answer your question, uh, some some more perspective on that, Stephen. Anything more to add to that? I concur with all that. In in terms of the territories, right? Uh, that is an area where now people can get cloud anywhere that they are, right? Um, uh, AWS has regions in almost every uh, uh, area, and that's where Hana Cloud for Presto is also located. And so, uh, combined with the ease of use of now it, you don't have to be a full distributed systems engineer to be able to run this. People who are cloud engineers can build up the, a very advanced data analytics, data lake analytics system uh, in less than 30 minutes, be up and running and uh, having phenomenally fast uh, dashboards and other use cases that Difty mentioned. So um, we, we work with folks that are in all different uh, regions of the world. Uh, just last night, we were dealing with um, you know Southeast Asia, uh, we have folks in the MENA region in the Middle East, um, and as well as, of course, you have North America and the, and the usual sub, sub, uh, suspects there. But uh, we find it uh, uh, when you combine the ease of use with the, the global power of, of the cloud, it uh, suddenly becomes a pretty exciting business that you can build. And, uh, and then the market expands faster as a result. 
So if you look at this investment round, what does it mean for the Presto community and the whole ecosystem? Yeah, so uh, let me first say that the Presto Foundation is under the Linux Foundation, and uh, uh, they are the the uh, overall uh, governance, and they have very transparent practices based on Linux. And so uh, we're really uh, pleased to be very active in the Presto Foundation, and we're the uh, primary vendor for Presto in the Presto Foundation today. We think that for every open source project to have a, there needs to be a vibrant developer community and also a very strong vendor for that project. And that's uh, you know, pretty much evidence across all different open source projects. And this investment makes sure that we are one of the, the uh, leading uh, uh, vendors and a strong vendor. And so uh, we think that's great. And we'll then continue working with the foundation to help grow that as well as uh, on the community side, which I'll turn over to Dipti. Uh, uh, I'm one of the most active uh, board members of the Presto Foundation. Dipti is the chair of the community uh, team uh, of the Presto Foundation and uh, has uh, will be able to invest further to help uh, grow that community. But uh, Dipti, please share some views on uh, how, we, how we'll uh, use that investment to, to help the community. Uh, HANA at the core is an open source uh, data and cloud company, right? And a part of that is giving back and contributing to the community. This is in a few different ways. Uh, obviously, we uh, heavily uh, work on the code itself and contribute that back out. But there are other aspects of the community running uh, uh, the, the events. Um, we, I'm the program chair for PrestoCon, for example, and we will put more time, effort, and uh, build out a team to support that community. Uh, it's other events, meetups, um, um, making sure that uh, there is there are how tos. There's there's actual resources for all users of Presto so that they can get started, get up and running really easily, and they have support from the Presto company in, in getting to their end goal of running Presto on their data lakes to get insights. Now, we cannot uh, talk about any project or company without talking about the competitors. So what does this investment round mean for HANA competitors? And who are your competitors, if I ask you? So uh, let me just say at a high level, this market is so big, the area of cloud data, uh, data analytics, it's so big, right? Every company is becoming more and more data driven. So first of all, the, there's going to be many vendors that are going to win. There'll be multiple winners here. And so we see that the folks that want the simplest, easiest, fastest open data lake analytics system, well, that's Presto and that's a HANA cloud for Presto, the managed service for Presto. Now, there's others that are kind of in adjacent areas there in, in the space of data analytics. And I'd say that uh, we have folks like um, uh, Dremio, who uh, offer a, a more uh, of a, uh, they offer a system that's not as open source, more of a proprietary system that uh, does some analytics on uh, data lakes as well. And so that's an example. And I just say that uh, uh, we have, uh, we're going to use the investment to continue to expand over more market for everybody. And so uh, that's, that's a, an example. Now there's the data ecosystem's got lots and lots of different companies in there. And so uh, I'll just leave it there. Yeah, um, I will say that we are focused singularly on the cloud, right? And there are a lot of companies out there that are trying to do both on-prem and cloud. And we've seen that in in many cases, uh, some of these companies, Hadoop companies, uh, weren't able to do it do it all. It's very hard to build to uh, support both these areas. They're two different products, two different paradigms, and that's wh that's why you know uh, what you see Snowflake and Databricks focused on one and doing really well. That is the approach that we're taking. We are singularly focused on the cloud today on AWS, over time on other clouds, uh, and we want to build the best experience that's cloud native for SQL on data lakes uh, versus some of the other competitors like Dremio who are trying to do it uh, in, in all everywhere. And that's a hard thing to do. And we believe uh, you know focus is important as a startup and uh, cloud is where uh, things are headed. Yeah, when your cloud native customers get a much better experience overall versus uh, when companies are trying to do too many things. Steve, uh, Deepthi, once again, thank you for joining me today. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, congratulations once again for this round. And I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thanks, Swap. Thanks you've so been, much, Swap. You've been there with us from the very beginning. So uh, a 15 month journey, and uh, we're just thrilled to uh, uh, share this news with you and your audience. Thanks so much, Swap, for your support.